Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just gonna be a quick video on how to set up a Nest thermostat, but not just a Nest thermostat. Obviously this is a Nest learning thermostat. Probably a ton of videos on these, but this is to set up the Nest thermostat on a Mr. Cool Hyperheat um, central AC unit. So um, this Nest thermostat, uh, the Wi-Fi went out in it, so we bought a new one and um, as I walked myself through re-establishing this thing, I, uh, I forgot how. And um, the video I made installing the Hyper, uh, the Hyper Heat Mr. Cool, I didn't describe that very well. So I'm gonna throw a diagram here up on screen and then I'm gonna walk through the wiring. Um, and it's gonna be really simple. Um, for this one, you're really just gonna go to the settings here uh, and then scroll over to um, Equipment and equipment is where all this is going to happen. And um, here's the wiring diagram here. I'm going to I'm going to pop that up on the screen and I'm going to show you what's uh, important about this. Um, and then walk you. Uh, I'm not going to walk you through all these settings, um, but obviously you're going to go to uh, cooling stage two because uh, that's what we have here as well. The heat pump heating, auxiliary heat, uh, all of those things are. Uh, are pretty self-explanatory. The Nest walks you through those, but what's not self-explanatory is the wiring. So I'll walk you through that real quick, and um, and that'll be it. And, and hopefully you'll be able to set this up really quickly, and this video is not very long. This is a graphical representation that you can pull from the app, or, or you'll see on the screen of your Nest third generation learning thermostat. I have added this description here. Um, so Y1 is heat cool, Y2 is cool to, G is going to be your fan. Um, o, B wire is going to be your heat pump. And this is important because as, it, as you see here, it is B. Um, so you can, if you, if you select it, select it to O and Nest likes to say, Hey, O is the most common. The fan will run, but you're not going to cool. Uh, so you want to go with B. W auxiliary heat is, um, is what W 24 volt common is C. And then R is power. And, uh, what they've done here is, is really cool clearly because r for red c for cyan blue w white y yellow g green and then o for orange but again it's b uh, and then i i believe mine was i used brown for y2 don't use two yellows you're going to be really confused um, so don't use two of the same obviously um, and make sure uh, you do the right one but again uh, b or bravo is going to be the one you're going to pick and that's important uh, again, like I said, Ness is going to tell you that O is the most common, and that was a mistake we made a, a couple of times. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what confused me. Um, in scenario four, it talks about a third-party outdoor unit and then standard, standard, standard. Um, the third-party initially had me hung up thinking that it was also a third-party thermostat. No. Third-party is the outdoor unit. You are scenario three. So go with scenario three, which really doesn't affect the indoor unit, but uh, the outdoor unit it does. And then finally, uh, this picture is hard to see, but these little um, switches here um, are what um, you're going to connect to. Um, and there's little screws down here, and then you just put the wires in. And then uh, this is in the, the uh, directions of the comes with and this is a, a representation of exactly what these are you can barely make them out on here um, but these are going to be your you know your r obviously c g y1 y2 b um, you're not going to use all these w's um, so just make sure that you, you match up um, your colors and what it says here to match up here and then this is how you're going to connect it uh, this hyperheat does amazingly in North Carolina. It, uh, you know, it got out down in the teens. Um, no problem. We do not have um, the uh, heating element in it. So we don't have any additional heating, auxiliary heat or anything like that. Don't think we need it. Uh, we haven't needed it so far and this thing runs great. So unless you're in something much colder and your application is different, um, you, you probably don't need it. So here it is. If you haven't already taken a screenshot, there you go. And, um, Hopefully this helps somebody uh, to connect your Mr. Cool. And again, it works great. Um, we use it all the time. We use it for away from home. Uh, and, and it does great setting up our routine and rhythm. Um, 
you can change the temperature from bed, um, you know, change it back to 78 degrees when the kids turn it to 72. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, quick, down and dirty, easy, teaches you how to um, wire your Mr. Cool to your Nest learning thermostat. Like, subscribe, do the free things. We'll catch you on the next one.